All right, our stats don't suck so much anymore. If we go over here, you can see we actually have pretty decent disguise, stealth, seduction, etc., etc. Uh, pretty much the max that we can possibly have right now, which means it's a good idea now to maybe try to get some more juice. We're going to go to the genetics place, and in order to go here, we're going to want to actually, before we do that, make a lab coat. However, I've already made a lab coat. In fact, I made lots of disguises off screen because I figured, hey, those are boring to make. So we're going to go over into the genetics lab, and we are going to succeed unlocking that because we are awesome at unlocking doors now. Uh, here we can just try to seduce people, it doesn't really help that much. Um, more importantly though, we want to run into lab tech, so we're lab tech. And we will try to, uh, nuclear power is clean. Yeah, whatever. Uh, we will try to run into, uh, lab techs and try to get them into our persuasion pool to kick out these stupid, uh, crackheads that are currently occupying it. Uh, it is a, uh, first in, first out type of pool, meaning that uh, the, the first crackhead in our pool that we've ever added to it is going to be the first person to leave uh, once we get these lab techs. Uh, there are also eminent scientists here that you can try to get, but I would not suggest it. They're much harder to keep, and I believe there's a chance that they'll actually increase your wisdom if you talk to them. Uh, so I would stick with the lab techs, who are, in and of themselves, still pretty hard to keep. Here, I'll try to date this person. Why not? Uh, yeah. So this is actually still not a particularly interesting part of the game. Uh, which is exactly why I am going to uh, be pausing it as soon as I have explored the majority of this place. Here are all these cages all over the place. We're going to be uh, freeing some animals here. There's a little bit of danger in that, which is why we're not going to be freeing all the animals from all of the cages. Doing that would require, for one thing, being awesome at driving, which I do not uh, currently have that. Uh, right now my driving is actually 2.48. Start off at one, so we didn't. We did at least gain one level from having uh, a car from the start of the game, and just passively gaining experience as we went from place to place. Uh, so that's one benefit of. Uh, I think I've already mentioned that benefit. Oh my god! Look at all this loot. It's beautiful. So yeah. In fact, I should probably just pause it right now, probably, and I will be back when. And I'll 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 try to be right over here for no particular reason, just because it's fancy. Uh, when I am done recruiting lab people and seducing people. And through the magic of traveling through time, or pausing the recording, I forget which one I did, I have now reached my required 12, which means I'm going to be losing those crackheads, and I'm going to hopefully be keeping at least some of these lab workers. And now I can start picking up this loot. This will make them suspicious, but this will also not make me care. Um, Another benefit here is I'm picking up this lab equipment and uh, laptops, which sell for quite a bit. Research papers even more so. Uh, I think that uh, research papers sell for 750, lab equipment sells for 500, and I forget what the third item is that I just talked about. Um, laptops, I think they sell for 250 or 500, something like that. Maybe just 200, I don't remember. Uh, so that'll be some good money for us. It's actually a lot of very good money. Uh, this is one of the best ways I know of actually even to make money, to have some guy who could just sneak into places and pick up all of the loot. It is a very lucrative uh, business, this theft business. Okay, so we now have that thing. And let's try to stay close to the door when we do this, because this is not a safe thing to do unless you are staying close to the door. So we use that. And hooray, it was not a horrible thing that wants to kill us. We unlock that one. And it was a horrible thing that wants to kill us. So let's talk to the mad cow. And good monster. Die in a fire. Oh. Fine then. You. Slur. Boom. Ah, your monkey will be met with death. Oh. Fine then. You can actually talk to these people and make... Or these people. Those monsters and make them realize that they don't have to be monsters and make them join you and be your friend. Oh well. What's... Oh, torn. Oh, did I get a messed up lab coat? No, my lab coat actually looks pretty good. Okay, so, oh well, it doesn't particularly matter. We're able to get away. And let's try to actually spend money to keep them here. Nope. Get that person. Get that person. Nope. Get that person. Get that person. And we could just drop these guys because who cares? And yeah, these guys are being dropped. And drop all of those guys. The Liberal Crime Squad has struck again, but we're not on the front page. Meaning, oh, apparently nothing. Tend to injuries? Never. Injuries are not important. We're only lightly wounded. It's not going to matter. 
Yeah, so now we have some more juice. Let's go ahead and go to the police station. Uh, usually I, I would actually not really be trying to get juice from the Gen X place, but I figured eh, it's not really that much of a risk. Um, the police station is a much better place to do it in terms of safeness, oddly enough, and also you could probably use the um, non-genetics, the cosmetics place, um, but that doesn't get you experience past 100 juice, I think, so whatever. Uh, so let's go ahead and go to the police place with our police person, or rather our police disguise the person, and let's explore this place. Uh, this is really where security shines, because you need security in order to unlock the... Uh, which I'm who's right? Wait, do we? Yeah, we already have. Uh, oh no, we we're not all the way at the highest seduction, so we do want to continue to seduce people. Hey, death squad person, want to make out with me? Um, one thing that you do want to be careful of if you're trying to seduce people like uh, police officers is that um, there's a good chance that if you actually go through with it, they're going to uh, find evidence of liberalism in you and send you to jail for being a liberal. Um, it's weird, but that apparently is what happens in the game. Uh, same with uh, secret agents. If you're going to want to recruit either of those types of units, make sure you do it through persuasion because it is much safer. It does not result in you going to jail. And let's see. This place also has very good loot. Oh, I was going to actually go to the um, pawn shop and sell some of my loot so that I would have enough money to keep my uh, lab people. Oh, well. I, mean, I could just go get more lab people. I'm not actually sure even if I need the lab people. In the original version, uh, at least I think it was in the original version, you needed uh, science in order to uh, change people's opinions on, nu on nuclear power. You had to be able to press that button in order to shift people's opinions. Uh, but in this, in the current version, they're actually other. They, they've completely changed the nuclear power plant so that there are other things that you could do, like break uh, nuclear display cases and stuff. So it's not quite the same as it was. Um, and I'm not actually sure if I need the science or not, so it might actually be that I had no use for persuasion whatsoever, and that all of the pers time I've spent on persuasion was for naught. Oh, well, why am I not trying to seduce you guys? Hey, look, a UFO. We're in the middle of a building. Why would there be a UFO here? Stupid Death Squad member. Yeah. So we're just going to go right through these guys. And hopefully be getting our seduction up to the level we want. I could be pausing this right now and saving you guys time, but why should I do that when I could use my magic powers to make it so that I'm only one seduction away from leveling up? Except I didn't actually use magic powers. I just paused it and then pretended I didn't pause it. Oh well, so we got our seduction up. Let's go ahead and get our stealth and disguise leveled. Uh, let's see, for those of you who didn't notice, I did change into a police uniform to get in here and not be uh, suspicious at all in any way to these guys. Oh, what am I doing? I don't need to level it up. I'm already at that level. What I need now is juice. Delicious, nutritious juice. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up this random stuff. Actually, opening the cell does not make the uh, conservatives alarm, so I may as well do that right here while I'm here. I unlocked the cell, yeah! Hey, prisoner, want to go on a date? It's kind of annoying that, or not annoying, weird. You can make these, uh, you can go on a date with them or try to persuade them, and then they say, nah, it's not from there. Or you can just release them, and they automatically join your team, uh, regardless, which is weird. More weirdness in this game. This game is not a particularly normal game, but what would you expect from a game called Liberal Crime Squad? Expect some kind of super normal game? No. Not unless you have a very demented mind, or... Actually, I guess it would be a very not demented mind. No. I guess you're just... Eh. Trying to babble about things to make this more interesting, but sadly, there's not really very much that can make a game where all you do is walk around and pick things up and not have any danger whatsoever. Whoa. Okay, that was what I was talking about before, where you can pick things up while people are there and not get caught. And it gave me the message that I was fading into the shadows, which means I think that stealth might have played a role in me not getting killed.